On March 23, 2025, Edwards Air Force Base buzzed with anticipation. The crowd, generals, politicians, engineers, and journalists waited, eyes fixed on a massive black hangar. For years, rumors swirled about a top-secret project. Today, the world would finally see it. The event felt more like a coronation than an air show, a moment that would redefine air power for decades. The sun beat down but no one noticed, all attention was on the sealed hangar doors. The world seemed to hold its breath as the hangar rumbled open. From the darkness, something extraordinary began to emerge. It glided out, not rolling but almost floating, a predator leaving its lair. The crowd gasped, a wave of astonishment rippling through thousands. Silence fell, anticipation turning to awe. This was not just a new aircraft, it was the arrival of the future. The whispers stopped, replaced by a single, focused energy. The moment was electric, history unfolding before their eyes. The future hadn't just arrived, it had burst onto the stage. The world would never look at the sky the same way again. What emerged was unlike any jet before it. The F-47 was massive, tailless, and shaped like a perfect seamless diamond, more alien than aircraft. Its matte black skin absorbed sunlight, its gold-tinted visor blending into the fuselage like an insect's eye. No visible seams, no engine intakes, just flawless, intimidating geometry. This was not evolution, it was revolution. The F-47 seemed to defy physics as if it was built to tear through the sky itself. Suddenly, it moved, a deep hum pulsed from within, felt more than heard. The jet lifted off, ascending almost vertically, hovering in the air with eerie control. It performed impossible maneuvers, sharp turns, rapid accelerations, all in near silence. The crowd watched, spellbound, as the F-47 became a ghost in broad daylight. It streaked overhead, a black chevron against blue, then vanished, its stealth defeating even the naked eye. One moment it was there, the next gone. Silence hung before the crowd erupted in disbelief and applause. The impossible had just become real. The world had witnessed a new era of flight. As the F-47 vanished, President Donald J. Trump took the podium. The crowd shifted from awe to patriotic fervor. Today you have seen the future, the next guardian of American freedom, he declared. He called the jet a product of American genius and resolve, the most advanced and invisible fighter ever built. Then, the name was revealed, the F-47 Liberator. The name transformed the jet into a symbol of national purpose. Trump spoke of new threats and the need for overwhelming strength. Our enemies will never see it coming, he promised. The Liberator would ensure American airmen owned the skies and returned home safely. It was more than a weapon, it was a promise to allies and a warning to adversaries. The speech tied the F-47 to the soul of the nation, not just dominance, but the preservation of a way of life. As Trump stepped away, the crowd erupted, not just for the jet, but for the vision it represented. The Liberator was now a legend. The F-47's true revolution is inside its cockpit. It's not just a fighter, it's a flying command center, the quarterback of a digital battlefield. The pilot is now a commander, orchestrating a networked assault with the help of powerful AI. The AI acts as co-pilot and tactical advisor, handling thousands of tasks and fusing data from hundreds of sensors. This frees the pilot to focus on big-picture decisions that win battles. During the unveiling, two unmanned drones joined the F-47 in perfect formation. These collaborative combat aircraft, or CCAs, were directed by the pilot as extensions of his will. He could send them to scout, jam, or strike, all while staying safe. This manned-unmanned teaming multiplies the F-47's effectiveness exponentially. The Liberator shares its view of the battlefield with satellites, ships, and other aircraft in real time. Its extreme range lets it operate deep in contested territory, managing the war from 60,000 feet. The F-47 isn't just built to win a fight, it's built to command the entire war. It's the most strategically important military asset of the century. The F-47's unveiling followed a fierce corporate battle. Boeing and Lockheed Martin fought for the next-generation air dominance contract, a contest to define the future of air power. Lockheed offered evolution. Boeing gambled on revolution. Boeing's radical design prioritized extreme range, massive payload, and full-spectrum stealth. They argued the next war would be fought across the Pacific, demanding a new kind of fighter. Billions were poured into research, pushing the limits of materials, propulsion, and AI. The Pentagon encouraged the rivalry, knowing it would drive innovation. On March 21, 2025, just before the unveiling, the Pentagon chose Boeing's vision. The decision sent shockwaves through the industry. It signaled a demand for a leap, not an incremental step. 
Boeing's boldness matched America's strategic needs, their victory reshaped the defense industry for a generation. The F-47 was proof that betting on the future pays off. The F-47 was born from a decade of secrecy. Funded through black budgets, its existence was myth until now. Engineers and pilots worked in isolation, protected by intense counterintelligence. This secrecy was strategic. China was racing to develop its own sixth-generation fighter. Every detail of the F-47 was a closely guarded national secret. The jet was designed for the Indo-Pacific, to overcome China's anti-access defenses. Its range allows it to strike deep and return safely, without relying on vulnerable refueling. Its stealth lets it penetrate the most advanced defenses undetected. To fund it the Pentagon made hard choices, cutting other programs. The message technological superiority with the F-47 was the top priority. This focus gave the project the resources and will to succeed. On unveiling day the world saw a capability forged in silence. The F-47 was built to secure America's future in a dangerous world. The F-47 Liberator is more than advanced technology. It's a symbol of American innovation and resolve. In a world of rising threats it's a statement of leadership and commitment to peace. Its overwhelming power is designed to deter, not provoke. The goal make conflict unthinkable for any adversary. Its greatest victories may be the battles it never fights. The Liberator reassures allies and discourages aggression by its very presence. It's a promise to US airmen, the best equipment, the best protection. Its AI and stealth are about safeguarding the human at its core. Technology serves the warrior, a shield as much as a sword. As the sun set, the F-47 had already changed the world's perception of power. It's a testament to what's possible when a nation unites behind a bold goal. The Liberator's highest purpose to secure peace by being the undisputed champion of the skies.